Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna be checking out this controller by Easy SMX, and this model here is called the ESM9110. Now this controller here is considered a budget controller and it's gonna run you roughly $30 as of making this video. And if you compare it to some of the top tier controllers out there, the Xbox wireless controller is pretty much gonna be at the top of the food chain in terms of controllers. And what's cool about this controller is that it does does have a bunch of unique buttons which we'll cover later and it's also going to be compatible with PC as well as Android devices. So let's kick this video off by checking out what was included in the box. So in the box what you're going to get is the controller of course, a USB-A to USB-C charging cable which is going to be nice for that fast charging time, and a quick start guide that's going to show you some of the basic features on how the controller works especially with its unique buttons. So first thing to cover is the design and build quality and my first impressions when pulling it out of the box was that it was a little bit on the lightweight side so it did have that fragile feel going for it. Now in terms of the textures they use this thing is fully made of plastic and the only rubber parts are the analog sticks which are going to give you a better gripping experience when you're aiming or walking around in a game. There are a lot of textured patterns throughout the controller which is going to give you a really good gripping experience when actually holding this controller and having a fairly good grip overall, which is obviously gonna be a good thing. There are gonna be two types of plastics built onto the controller and you're gonna have like the matte finish control uh, plastic as well as a glossy shiny plastic material. And it is gonna be a bit of a fingerprint magnet on the glossy side. So you may wanna wipe it down every once in a while. In terms of usability, the controller does come with a wireless dongle, which is gonna be the only way to connect it to a device. And the dongle is gonna be fairly long. It's gonna be about three to four inches. So I would be careful when plugging this thing into your computer because if it's on the front, you may accidentally bump into it. So it might be a better idea to plug it into the back of the computer or somewhere where it's not on the way. The wireless range on the dongle is gonna be 30 feet, so that's gonna give you a lot of distance to sit on the couch or really far away from the TV if that's something you wish to do. Now, in terms of the controller layout, this thing is gonna be pretty much like a regular Xbox controller. You're gonna have your D-pad, your analog sticks, the standard circle buttons, the triggers on top. All of it's gonna be very familiar if you used an Xbox controller. However, there are a few unique buttons on the controller that are made specifically for this controller and the two buttons are going to be a light setting mode which is going to adjust how bright the led lights are on the controller as well as the vibration mode and it's going to give you four levels of vibration on how intense you want the controller to vibrate when something's happening in game and speaking of in game let's hop on the computer give this thing a test run to see how it performs So with my experience playing some games on the controller, it felt very good overall. There was no lag or delays and everything felt fairly good to me. The D-pad didn't feel mushy, the analog triggers, they felt very tactile, which I'm a fan of. And all of the regular buttons, the analog sticks and the circle buttons, it all felt standard. I really had no complaints here, especially from someone who's coming from a regular Xbox controller that I use on the PC. Now the battery life on this controller is gonna last you for up to eight hours, which is gonna give you a pretty good amount of play time. And the recharge time is gonna be 2.5 hours. So if you're looking for a new controller that's cheaper than the Xbox controller, this is gonna be a good option coming in at $30. The Xbox controller is gonna be roughly $60, which is gonna be half the price, which is a pretty good selling point because this thing performs just like the regular Xbox controller. If you're looking for a controller that is more mobile friendly i did review a controller not too long ago called the game sir g4 and i'm going to leave that link down in the description below if you're looking for something that's compatible with mobile devices as well as pc so that's going to be down below along with where you can purchase this easy smx controller and if you want to stay up to date with what's happening in the tech world make sure you click that subscribe button and i'll keep you in the loop don't forget to like this video and leave your comments down below i'll see you in the next one